there's always there's a long story of how I got here, and I like to say there's a short story of how I got here, and the short story is two words. Yes, dear. Nestled away in a nook of the Applegate Valley, Cowhorn Winery is doing things a little differently. The idea? Biodynamics, an ecological and ethical approach to farming. Biodynamic farming is a mindset. So if you, if you can appreciate not using synthetic chemicals and not monocropping, it, you know, it, it, it's easy. It's just a mindset. Owners Bill and Barbara Steele started Cowhorn back in 2002. It was a blank canvas. There was nothing here day one but weeds and rocks. They chose their name based on an actual cowhorn, a mechanism used for composting. It's a vital step for running their vineyard. We use it to make compost teas, which are spread onto the plants appropriately. Being that it's a compost tea, it's a root stimulant. Bill says there are three key parts to being biodynamic. The first, no chemicals at all. The second, being a self-sustaining farm. And finally, a focus on diversity and growing a multitude of crops. We do, obviously, grapes. Uh, we also do asparagus, seven to 8,000 pounds a year of asparagus. We have 1,000 lavender plants, and we have about 30 uh, oak and hazelnut trees that we're trying to grow the Paragold truffle. But there's an asparagus that'll get picked tomorrow. It's still a full-time job, but Bill says the work pays off in the product. Yeah. It's good. With the occasional pruning and tidying up, the idea is a biodynamic farm can take care of itself. It's an immune system, and we're trying to, you know, create as strong of an immune system as possible. And part of that is diversification, not monocropping. Cowhorn's tasting room can also take care of itself. In line with their values of being as green as possible, it's considered one of the greenest tasting rooms in the world. The building met rigorous standards and was ultimately recognized by the International Living Future Institute. And it's, a, it's, it, it's a testament to what Southern Oregon is capable of. It's now been 17 years since the owners set their eyes on developing a biodynamic vineyard, and it hasn't gone unrecognized. Bill says other wineries are starting to consider becoming biodynamic as well. The process may take time, but Bill is hopeful for what's to come. Each day, we're just trying to take one step forward. And, uh, you know, if you take one step forward each day after a year, look how far you've gone. In the Applegate Valley, Miles Wodwichi, NBC5 News.